So this is to fire up the multifidus muscles, give your body a sense of be able to stack itself properly. So the hips, the, the torso and the head stacked in one line and to give you a sense of an upward impulse through the top of the head. So the ball needs to be, so your knees, your hips are a little bit higher than the ball here. Feet are wider than your hips. You need to feel the, the roll of the ball going into your feet for starters. The body is straight. So what that means, if I'm too tucked with my pelvis that way, the tissue short here and it's really long at the back. And if I go that way, the tissue sort of shortens here and gets longer here. So we want the pelvis to be in a neutral position where it's almost flat here as opposed to that or that. So that's there first. A gentle lift from the top of your head as if there's a balloon drawing you up. So there's a little bit of a lift there. So you have a, a central axis that's formed in your body. Then from there you keep, you start the bounce by pushing through your feet. And there's an up and down motion. So the bounce may make your body find it hard to keep that alignment. So I might start doing some kind of movement. So you just aim to keep that upward impulse bouncing. The more you bounce, the harder the body, it gets more information, it's harder for it to keep the alignment. So once you get the bounce going, then you start with the arm. So the arm comes up, thumb to the roof. And you want it to stay so the arm can disassociate from the body. So what that means is usually here, people's body wants to go like that to help. So you lose the central axis. So we're just going up to the point where the spine stays straight. There's no change in that. And then the other side, and you do that a few times. And then out to the side, thumb to the side. And there as well. And usually with this one, it starts to show up errors in the side motion shows could be okay here then there's this sudden wobble or the head wants to try to help so this is all things that we're trying to erase with this exercise the last one is bouncing keeping the alignment and you're turning just to where you feel is comfortable and if i was to turn too much and i can't keep my axis it starts to do this so i start to lose weight in that hip i start to corkscrew the body so you want that central line to be there while we're while we're bouncing.